uh, but just trying to keep them out of the rhythm, like I said earlier, and then just uh, trying to get them different looks. Do you feel like there's been an element of that through four games, through five games, we're starting to figure it out now? Uh, yeah, you know, for us, you know, we, we had a slow start to this playoff, uh, to this series as well. Um, but for us, um, just getting back in the uh, gym, watching film, figuring it out, and, which we did. Uh, and so just showing him different looks, uh, different uh, – like uh, adjustment, even uh, Cat, uh, all them guys, you know, showing them different looks, different uh, people guarding them. Uh, I think that's, that helped us out tonight. What did it feel like for you to hit those back-to-back -back threes in the fourth quarter? No, it felt good just to see the ball go through. You know, I've been having a, a great shooting series or just start the playoff. Um, but just to see it go through the night, you know, I felt comfortable. I was in the rhythm um, and j just shooting and not worried about makes or mixes. Uh, so tonight just – was in a great rhythm, great flow, uh, and like, just kept shooting. I know you already talked about Nicole a little bit, but how would you describe what he was able to do against the Defensive Player of the Year and getting his third MVP tonight? Um, Yoga's just, you know, he's, 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 he's truly amazing. You know, you, you know what you're going to get from him each and every night. Uh, so for us, um, just putting him in the right position uh, to score the ball. Uh, and tonight he was just, you know, unreal. So going against Cat, uh, uh, Goldbeer, uh, and uh, Reed. So just, and then, like, I'm going to say, uh, getting out of the double team, you know, making plays. Uh, so, like, for him, just, just truly amazing in the way he see the game. Coach was talking about how you guys were throwing doubles at Anthony Edwards tonight, trying to give him as many different looks as possible. How well do you feel like you executed that game plan? Uh, we executed it pretty well. Uh, we had some mistakes uh, where we uh, let him drive past us. Uh, when we was doubling uh, or uh, missing a read when he gave the ball up. Uh, so we had some mistakes, but I feel like we, throughout 48 minutes, we played well uh, as far as like, showing them, uh, them coverages. How did it feel to get that bad juju out of ball arena and get a win here? <laughs> uh, it feels good. You know, we, we always want to protect home court. Uh, so tonight we just came out with the, the mindset, you know, just be aggressive, you know, uh, make some misses, just play defense, uh, get stops when we need them. Uh, and, just stick with the game plan, uh, game plan and uh, it's going it's to fall for Talk about Nicola. What's it like to watch him decide, all right, I'm going to go score? Because you know you can pass. But yeah. When he decides to do that, is there something that you think about? Or uh, no, him? we just we want him to be aggressive. Right? Because if we're going to play in between him and uh, AG, be aggressive to score until uh, they show you a different look. Uh, so you know, he did that tonight to start. Um, and then just uh, when they doubled, you know, he, he was able to get the ball out and he was able to make plays. Uh, so I yeah, truly um, took my hands off with Nicola because he, he always in the right position by making the right play for us. Christian says, give the ball, get out of the way. What, what's it like realizing that, all right, it's time to get out of the way? Uh, when, whenever he posts up, he asks for the ball, get it to him. Uh, he's either going to make a play, he's going to score, uh, or it's going to get a good look for us, you know. Um, so uh, we, we run our offense through him and more. Uh, and we, we got to trust them, them guys. They're going to make the right play at the right time. This team has proven that they can go on the road and win big games. But what has been key for this team to go on and win games on the road in a clinching match? Uh, just stand together. You know, uh, you know, we know it's a hostile uh, crowd in Minnesota. So just stand together, you know, and just playing our basketball, nugget basketball, you know, Offensively, you know, take care of the ball, you know, be patient, uh, take the open shots when they're there, and defensively just get stops. Uh, we know that going into uh, these road games. And we've done it before when we were on the road and got two. Uh, so, you know, we're we just looking forward to, you know, just going to Minnesota and try to get the closeout game. What has been the biggest change for this team confidence-wise offensively in the last time? Uh, big jump, I will say. Uh, just... As far as like seeing the ball go through, everybody's touching it, you know, great rhythms. Um, and just playing for each other, I feel like that's, that's, big, that's key for us, you know, helping each other out in the offensive end. I think we asked a couple weeks ago about your favorite Jokic passes. Did you have a favorite Jokic finish in this game? He had some pretty amazing ones <laughs> against good defense. Man, <laughs> every finish is great for Jokic, <laughs> you know. So, uh, but like for us, for me, uh, I would say just him. Him dunking the ball. I've never seen him dunk so much this year. Uh, <laughs> so just him like attacking the rim, uh, no matter if it's they're trying to dunk or laying the ball up uh, or getting the foul. So like for me, I'm, I'm really impressed with like, him attacking that rim. Were you surprised by him talking it back over his head too? That's not. Nah. He'd, he'd be showing that in warm-ups. So uh, <laughs> like, 
uh, kudos to Yoke, man. Just keep keep attacking the rim, and you know, we're gonna need that pressure there. Have you guys been a part of their closing lineup for the last two games now? I mean, how much do you feel like he's been a big played a role in kind of flipping the momentum in the series the last three games? Uh, big role. You know, CB's one of our young guys that's been playing a lot. Um, but for me, defensively, he's he's been a like you know helping me out with Ant, or like helping the team out with Ant. You know, everybody's you no know, switching on them and stuff like that. Uh, being able to guard uh, Cat or, or Reed, you know, rebounding for us, you know, also knocking down shots as well. So, like, you know, for us, you know, we just continue to keep the confidence, uh, keep shooting, keep playing defense. Uh, and, like, tonight he did that. I assume you saw Uncle Jeff at halftime. It seemed like everybody did. How cool was it to have him in the building? Uh, I saw Jeff yesterday <laughs> uh, before the game. So, we had a little, little date. Uh, but, no, Jeff has, you know, always been family. Uh, so like he, he's still in our group chats. So, uh, uh, but like yeah, Jeff is just fun to be around. You know, our, our brother still. Uh, you know, just it was just great to see him. I would say. He didn't get kicked out of the group chat. Oh, well, good people, man. <laughs> good people, man. They won a championship. So like, hopefully, you know, <laughs> one day he'll be out of there. <laughs> well, I know. Who knows? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.